Hello and welcome to another video. In this one is another open source tip and the first thing that I do when I found a bug. So let's jump into it. Now I don't mean to pick on this person in particular. Uh, they happen to not do the thing that I'm going over in this video, but uh, I figured I would have a teaching moment and show how to improve this. Okay, so this person found a bug in PyFlakes, a very legitimate bug, something that was broken, and they provided a small minimal case that does reproduce under certain circumstances, uh, but they didn't do this one thing that I always recommend doing, which is trying your bug report on the latest version that's available, and also saying what version you're running on. So for instance, uh, let me reproduce exactly what they probably saw, and then we'll show you how to, you know, how to recognize that you're maybe not on the latest version and then how to fix it. So let's first install PyFlakes uh, to find whatever the latest version is. All right, we're gonna install less than 2.5 so we get on an older version. They had this code sample here and when they ran PyFlakes on it, uh, maybe they had to be even older than 2.5. Let's try 2.4. Uh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so when, when they ran PyFlakes on this, they got an undefined name V on this particular line here. Now, even if you don't want to try it on the latest version, it's very useful to the maintainers to include whatever version information you have inside the report. In Python, you can do this by doing pip freeze, or often your program will have a dash dash version. Either way, sharing this information is super helpful to maintainers so that they can know exactly what you're seeing so they can replicate your problem and fix it much faster. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you might not be on the latest version, so it's a good idea to try and use the latest version. Uh, and there's kind of two latest versions for a lot of projects. One is the released version and one is the unreleased version. The released version is the easiest one to test. You basically just do, you know, pip install, PyFlex upgrade. And, you know, as soon as you notice, oh, I'm not on the latest version, maybe it's fixed there. Uh, you'll be able to see, oh yeah, it's fixed here. The other thing that you might want to do also is install the latest version from Git. I did a video on that in the description, but the TLDR is pip install git plus, you know, whatever the GitHub URL usually works. Why did I type pi upgrade? <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so this will allow you to install from Git and that'll allow you to test, okay, has this been fixed in an unreleased version? And a lot of times you'll find that things already got fixed. Uh, if you do find it in an unreleased version, I would not recommend telling the person to release. They surely already know that it has been fixed and are planning their own release at their own schedule. And it's just going to annoy them if you send them more email notifications or say, my company needs this release. No, don't do that. Just uh, let them release at their own pace and it'll get fixed when it gets fixed. Or you can use the version from Git. That way you don't have to wait for them to release. But anyway, that's the first thing that I do whenever I'm going to make a bug report is I try and figure out, is this fixed in the latest version? Uh, that way I save everyone else a bunch of time. And even if I don't save people time, it'll put my version information into the issue such that someone else could reproduce this you know, months or years into the future. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.